And well, nuke once again, Cory. Uh, Mary Games, can they keep it going without the Molotovs, of course? Well, there is Molotovs allowed, but you can easily extinguish them now after the update. Well, it's not only the fact that you can extinguish them. The main focus that uh, the Molotov features that was added was that the slowdown effect yeah. was removed. And once that slowdown was been removed, then it just allowed the players to kind of just still continue their rush with taking some damage. It's basically like having a bunch of grenades coming in there. Right off the start, though, look at that. That was a beautiful nade that bounced back around, opening up the door from the op opposite side there. But this is going to be a retake coming in here from Varied Games. We saw this at DreamHack Winter time and time again. This is their very default setup. They think that they can retake uh, this upper bomb site. But look at this. Also, you've got Kick. They did not buy any type of P250. Every one of them has has Glocks in hand as they're going to start to be able to push up here. But look out for Fox, who's going to be on the flank here in just a moment. Bomb's still going to be taken away here as Smiths and Extents both going to work. And finally, the exchange just happened here for Kick. And right there, you can see that the smoke has been pushed out there. And right now, Kenny S going for the defuse. And he gets the defuse with <laughs> one HP. One HP. Wow. Does get the defuse. And again, you can see how effective those smokes truly are. Yeah, man, I actually thought that Fox would have that one, uh, like, in the bag, because he basically was firing at the correct position, but 1 HP remaining, but still the defuse coming in, and in the end, that's what really matters. Very Games are now in the lead, they have gotten that pistol round, they can now move on uh, into the anti-eco, spying those for masters, spying the M4s even, and all the other nice little weapons to counter the pistols. And looks like they're going to be able to push out here towards the outside, you got the MPK, he's been able to pick up two with the Falas, make that three! And the final frag comes in there as this huge overlay. That's going to be four frags in the round there for MPK. Uh, picking it up there with the Famasa. He tried to hit there towards that upper bomb site, uh, but got completely shut down. One of the things that I want to talk to you about, Risk, though, is um, whenever we had a DreamHack winner, I spend a lot of time talking with Lurpus, and we all know his viewpoints on, on the game and everything. But and one of the things that I have to agree on, and going back to this first round with Kenny S, is we see a lot of people just making they just it cuts out the the actual skill level whenever you can just toss a smoke down and make something happen but look at this you can see that they're going to be pushing here towards that upper bomb site two frags on the board here for very games uh, one of which from kenny s and they're just getting doing a great job holding this one down on rock smokes are everywhere so they actually can't even see each other and rpk picking up two and ends up uh his teammate uh took him out that was mbk so all those frags that mbk has gotten throughout the round uh, it have been taken away. You can see he's sitting at 1,050. Now, you'd be wondering, well, why didn't he get that 3,250 from picking up the round? Well, the issue is they uh, they won the round, eliminating all the uh, the terrorists. And then, uh, so that's where they got the 3,250. And then he killed his teammate, which took him out 3,300. So now he's sitting at 1,050. Uh, but what, uh, real quick, I'm going to try to say this quickly now. <laughs> it's the, the smoke is, there's two things that are wrong with it. One, or there's one thing wrong with the smoke is that they can sit there and how big the bloom is. The smokes are so effective that one player can buy a smoke and make something happen. Yeah. The second thing that I want to bring up is that on the diffuse, you can diffuse, it, the radius is so huge that you can almost diffuse from anywhere. So yeah. that's why we're seeing so many smokes being dropped down and a diffuse happening from different angles. Now, what, the, what I'm going to mention to Valve whenever I get the chance to is that they should have to diffuse the bomb right on top of the yeah. bomb. Uh, that is actually, I remember, actually, uh, <laughs> nice you mentioned during Hack Winter because I remember a specific situation. I can't really remember the teams, but it was on DDoS 2. There was a bomb on that A bomb site. Yeah, there was a CT yep. at long, and then the, the, the no, the, there was, it was a, a at Nexus long. sewer yeah. that was at long. And then there was just one guy smoking the site and just diffusing from a long distance. And he was just able to get that diffuse without the, the terrorists being able to do anything. He was just stuck down there saying, well, what am I going to do? There's a smoke, and he can just diffuse from that far distance, and that really, like, <laughs> removes uh, the excitement in clutch situation. It's, it's, of course, extremely hard to deal with for the terrorists. Uh, yeah, I actually do agree with uh, with uh, you and Lopez there. It's not often that I agree with Lopez, but uh, I think <laughs> no, nor is it for me as well. <laughs> I think you really got the the right end of uh, of this one, to be honest. Now, right now, we've already down to a four v three, and that's. Uh, Looks like Insa's a little bit blind here on the outside and also has been spotted. Uh, trying to be able to pick you up on there on the outside. That was Kenny S. 
And uh, some spamming still going on here. RPK, though, about to come up there. He does take out uh, one extents there as well. Kenny S with an off there inside a ramp room. And Very Games, again, they were uh, take, they lost their first match in this group. And then ever since, it seems like they've awoken the Dragon as now Very Games. A 5-0 lead over the team who is going undefeated so far, being Kick. Yeah, and like Kick, to be honest, they are really a surprise package of this group. Um, I don't think anyone really like thought they would be going this um, this far ahead into the group, winning all these games. As we do see, a push towards the ramp, so let's see here what Smiths can do. Absolute spray down, decimating the players of the Kick, actually only getting two frags. That was kind of weird, I thought he would get a shitload more. So, uh, excuse my words there, but um, that actually didn't happen. So now it's the 4v3, and uh, yeah, as I said again, kick the surprise package. Um, no one really expected them to do much in this group. Uh, we all expect the very game to just stroll through. But um, kick looking good so far in the group, apart from this game where they're just behind with 75. Yeah, one of the things, though, you have to look at here is that the, the difference is, is we've already had Group A has already played, and yeah. so they, they can kind of already predetermine which team that they want to play, whether it's the third-place team, Bikey, or whether they want to face off against one of the Counter-Strike 1.6 legends, being ESC, who's been struggling a little bit whenever it comes in terms of Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Yeah, and just to touch up on that again, while well, this round uh, is basically... Ending, um, we do of course. Actually, now it's going to be exciting because Fox has picked up an AKM. I'm just going to pause my little brain um, <laughs> fart there and let's see what Fox can do. We can actually pick up the, uh, the first one and goes for that second frag as well. Uh, will he be able to get it though? That's a question. We do have also existence still alive, existence with a double and denies Fox the opportunity to win that round. But, um, but yeah, now I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that's good. But, uh, it's been a long night for you, though. Yeah, it really has. Uh, so, 6-0, to zero, that's one thing I can say for sure. I can read that directly off the scoreboard, so that's always good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and now we will have a buy round where we will see all, both um, teams orping. Kenny S, of course, the orper for very games, will be taking it to the outer kitty. Um, right here, we see him. Let's see if he can pick up any frags to what's our outside area. Not looking like uh, many people want to challenge him right now. Oh, maybe one. It's it's interesting. I was on board here with Fix. He's double scoped and checking out spots. His every or, every corner that he was watching was double scoped, and that's just an interesting perspective. I rarely ever see anyone go in for a full double scope. And there's there's different ideas behind it. It's just an interesting approach, though. <laughs> Especially on the outside, there's so yeah. much to have to make a flick shot with. Yeah, double scoping in and then wanting to make a flick shot from one direction to another is basically impossible. So you have to like oh. guess exactly where your opponent is. I've always wondered what they changed their um, their X Y uh, sensitivity at that point. Their double zoom sensitivity because yeah. it can't be what it normally is. No, um, I think it's yeah. It's actually some people prefer it faster. And some people actually prefer it slower. And that's usually what you don't double zoom. So yeah. That makes no sense. Um, new coming in with one though, and now there will be yeah, an exchange of frags down here, it will be a 2v2, Kenny has to in through the vents, NPK is also in here, but he's going to receive a lot of damage, um, let's see if he can take it home, one to the back of Fix, nice little headshot coming in from NPK, now it's all on Fix there, Picks up one, now 1v1 versus Kenny S, Kenny S with the AWP, now the question is who will win this round, bomb is planted, and wow, Kenny S picks up the AK, and there is the frag, four very games, coming in with the defuse, it's going to be 7 to nothing for the Frenchman. Yeah, this is going to be a long game for Kick. I mean, <laughs> when, in terms of just the first half, because what's going to happen here is they might be able to pick up one or two rounds. You can look over on the other side for very games. They're sitting at 6K. They're, they're overbuying in some sense, whenever in terms of how many rounds that they've won. You can look at it. Existence uh, is actually sitting... At seven and one, yeah. and uh, he's got 4K in the bank. You'd expect him to have a lot more, unless he's been buying ultra other teammates. Of course, uh, MBK has been taking out five rounds in a row, or five rounds out of the seven, so his economy is a little bit screwy as well. First back coming in here from Fix on that ramp area. Let's see if we can find him. And they are dropping straight down lower bomb site. 
Um, Muterius, I think it is, and Neil will be coming in here. There's one hit set from Muterius, who was also known as Mutt. But in the end, I have the usual rule of calling their players as they're attacked up in the server, is to make them use their actual names, because it's really, really hard to actually commentate on matches when they're not really attacked up. But here we go. There's a fire grenade onto the bomb side. One very low terrace down there, but I don't think Existence will have much to do. He's taken down from behind, and now 1v4 for Kenny S. He that might nade will get one. Yeah. And then he's <laughs> probably drawing away unless he gets a sick kill now. Yeah. So he decides to save his AWP, and that is the first round kick we'll get <coughs> here in this first half. That was a smart move by Kenny S. I mean, in the end, he knows that he's not going to win the round, especially with an op in hand in a 1v4. Yeah. Of course, he helped the situation of being in a 1v3. Nice saw all around, though, coming there by kick. I mean, being able to just pick it up, just kind of steamroll their way in and just make things happen. Now, the issue is here is if kick ends up losing this round, <laughs> it's really going to throw them off. Yeah, that will really ruin the economy. And also, like, mentally, when you just broken the momentum of a team, you're really like, okay, we can do it. And then if you lose straight forward after, then... Well, basically, all that momentum is lost, and you'll be like, well, okay, what are we going to do now? <laughs> and I think that might be affecting them. Uh, very Games looking like they want to push it onto the ramp. Smith's picking up one, and NBK also with one, and it's not looking good so far for the uh, kick players here. Are going outside, so they're getting that map control. But what to do with map control when um, the CTs have control over both bomb sites? Looks like they'll be heading over here down towards that lower side. Of course, they can wrap over here towards that vent area. NBK doing a great job. He's just kind of waiting out. But then he pushes out. He's going to get dropped by Fix. It's going to be now down to a three on four. Insa, Fix, as well as Fox. As Insa picking up another one now. It's going to be down to a three on three. It's kind of, kind of picking them apart here one by one. Nice shot by Kenny S taking down Insa. And Fox now. Gonna go ahead and play out there. Kenny Esso is making every shot count with that AWP. And so it's left up to Fix down to this one on three. So Fix now in the vents. Has some time to kill. Uh, 35 seconds remaining. He's 1v3. He can clutch it. But Orb and Vents, we talked about this. He's uh, got. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's basically no way unless he pulls out something ridiculous that he's going to do anything good with this round. He is, though. Walking slowly towards the CTs, not really caring. He does pick up that bomb. And can the bomb is so loud, too, yeah. whenever you start to beep. You can see how quickly they immediately start to move. He does get the bomb down. That's going to give his teammates an additional 800 plus the 1400 from losing this round. So they're going to get up. They're going to have 2200 here going into the next one. Uh, you'll see uh, Multiris or Muterus uh, pop up to 4200. Yeah. Yep. And uh, so, again, it's just there that just getting the bomb town is going to help them out enough to be able to to continue to buy off of that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, New Fortis is uh, really going to have a really tough spot to work with. Let's see what end we ended up buying. Um, it looks like he's got a full nade set, and he picked up yeah. an AK from a teammate. Yeah, that was uh, the drop coming in from uh, Fox, who had 8K, and he could buy one full nade set and armor plus drop from his teammate there. But uh, let's uh, switch over to Kenny S here because he's always a guarantee for a good quick pick. And there he is again, looking for that first one and actually also finding it. Uh, but being flashed now. And now two terrorists can go down to that secret area through the Volcano Stairs area. But uh, luckily for the CTs, RPK is already in position. He'll also spot one of them so they know exactly where the terrorists are going. They put so much attention over there towards that secret area and trying to hit that lower bomb site that they just—they're already making the assumption that that upper bomb site is not probably necessarily difficult uh, to get the bomb down, but trying to be able to get the hold because the retake has been there. But it looks like right now, uh, exchanging frags and down towards that lower bomb site, and uh, Fix does have the bomb here for kick. Yeah, let's see here what he can do with it. Of course, they need to get at least one more frag before getting that bomb down. Uh, that's the usual rule. You have to get a, at least one frag before planting it. But let's see here. Alpha is in a good position. We'll do the spray down, but only getting one frag. Fox picking up that one. And let's see if we can find. There is new. Picking up one frag as well. Existence now has to drop into these vents to uh, help kill the bomb plant. And here he goes. He is a tad too late, but no worries. Existence doesn't really care. He has it all under control. The ice cold tactical leader for Very Games will 
Once more show his ice cold determination skills, just going for the double kill. But yeah, of course, that is of course money in the bank for kick. He would have loved to not have that bomb planted, but still, round win. Yeah, it goes back to the fact, again, we, we had mentioned that um, their money was going to be kind of spread thin because they ended up losing the following round. You can see that you've got Muterus, who's got a deagle in hand. You've got Fix, who I think he has actually got a lock in his side pocket. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing he has. Uh, uh, he has a deagle oh, there on the back. I'm looking yeah. at it. Yeah, yeah, he's got a deagle in his back pocket. <laughs> um, but uh, overall, though, I mean, they're not... They're just kind of buying whatever they can, but again, they, they, they know for a fact they have to start to pick up rounds. You can see how they're boosting up onto uh, that white tower on the outside, originally the red rock. Yeah, let's see here. NBK coming in with one. RPK probably also will be joining the fight. Here he comes in a great position. One, two, Frax has to go to the lags. RPK will pick up the double. And that was, I'm not even sure if that was supposed to be a fake towards the ramp because there was one guy, actually the guy with the Glock, I forgot who it was, but he went down to the ramp and just threw one smoke, one flash, one nade, fired some shots and then went back. And that was just kind of it. <laughs> if that was a fake, that was probably the worst fake I've ever seen in a pro match. That's pretty much what you'd see in like an open yeah. style. But um, they really, honestly, the way that they feel right now is that they can't buy a, buy a kill. You've got Muterus, who's sitting at three kills. Uh, Insa and Fix both at four. And Kenny S on the outside, though, going to work. <laughs> Take that three with that AWP. He's going to go chasing now for these kills. He's able to pick up his fourth frag here in the round and just shutting down the outside. Kenny S right now is sitting at 16 and 7. Yeah. He has 16 frags and we're now and just getting into the 13th round. Like that guy is a beast. He has his moments like he has those matches where he just goes absolutely mental and this is one of them where he just like he just kills people and he doesn't really this care. And we did not, honestly, so I, I mentioned this time and time again at the, whenever I was a DreamHack winner, is that Kenny S yes, is one of those ones you need to be on the lookout for. And he did not show up until the semifinals yeah. against, uh, or the quarterfinals there against Dynamic. It was just, it was crazy how long it took for him to kind of start to show up as another round coming on here onto the board here for very games. 12 to 1, 11 round lead here over Kick. Yeah, and wow, there's <laughs> just no way that they're going to break this. They will, of course, that was an eco round to what's a ram completely grinded into meat. Uh, you could sell that in a restaurant. It probably wouldn't be very good. <laughs> that's, that's a weird thought right there. Just forget that. But um, Kick now has a buy round. They do have those AKs. And they, can, uh, they might be able to do something, but they have to bring their A-game to be able to do anything against this very good team. Ramp. We'll pick up the first one, and not the best nade in the world, but still will hold these terrorist players off for just a little while. Just smart gameplay by there by Smith. He immediately packs up. He has his teammates that kind of push down there into the vent area. You can see RPK giving some cover fire, but he needs to be on the lookout. You can see Kenny S also. Great spams going on there. Who was that by? I believe that was by Fix. Yeah, who was so. spamming at Kenny S right there towards that uh, that tower area. He actually backpedaled, hopped out, and now he's on the outside. That opened up the doorway there to be able to push out towards that upper bomb site. But getting slaughtered is going to be kicked. Oh, and, uh, that's going to be able to finish off that round. Kenny S picking up the last and final frag there. 13 to 1. Great spam. It pushed Kenny S away from that position to kind of uh, watch down. And... Um, yeah, there's different things that were working for them. They just needed to continue to push him back, and then whenever they pushed towards the upper side, they all had to start to disperse and spread out. That's the thing that they didn't do. They just basically stayed there in a package, and uh, yeah, it was game over from that point on. <laughs> so right now we will have uh, one of those other four spies. You see they don't have all the nade sets. They probably don't have armor as well, and a couple of galils also for the terrorists while the CTs are sitting on. A lot of money, they could have any weapon they want, even buying uh, the PT 50s just to be sure. Kenny S once more from that position, picking the first frag of the round. I should basically just be with him at the start of every round because he at least gets one frag and now he has a chance of getting like a second it. one. There we go. Kenny S exploding all over the kick team right now. Not really caring. And <laughs> I was about to say, if you got a frag from that position, I was going to, I don't even know what I was going to do. Probably a scream or something. But um, we will have the terrorist going towards that lower bomb site. Kenny S doing actually good damage. There's the grenade. Uh, <laughs> damage. And Kenny S does not care. Absolutely mental action from Kenny S. 
can he pick up the uh, fifth and final frag to complete the ace? Let's see here, Kenny is coming in, trying to shoot through the wall, and there we go, ending the half with an ace from Kenny S. Look at that, 24 frags, 7 deaths from that little French hero. And he's only like 17 years old, and he's, wow, prodigy in, in Global Offensive, I have to say. I have to admit, some of these young guns that are coming into Counter-Strike, even mentioning them, players like Swag yeah. uh, from Team Dynamic, a lot of these young players really, not only the fact is that they have some really amazing shots, but they're making smart moves that veteran Counter-Strike players make. And that's really, uh, that's where I give the most credit to. They're positioning themselves properly, they're working the right headshot lines, and then they just kind of make things happen. That's going to bring us into here, here to the pistol round, and this game could be over right here. If Very Game is able to take this one, NPA starting things off, able to pick up one. Nice little exchange, though. They're already left up to RPK. They went Tech 9 style and uh, ended up getting picked apart there. That's a little boost of confidence there for Kick, but at the same token, they realize that they're 12 rounds down on Nuke. Luckily enough for them, they are on the CT side. Yeah, I've seen, um, I've seen comebacks like this, but to be honest, um, they have to change the way they're playing, really, the Kick team. They have to really like take that game and then step it two or three levels up before they can have a chance of uh, doing the comeback here i don't think very games will allow that because they know exactly they have dealt with this situation a ton of times and they know exactly what to happen or what to do to cancel this out from kick and see what's going to happen they are rushing in the upper bomb site right now uh Muterus right now probably the guy to watch as he picks up a couple here grenade coming in as well as he brings out the pistol and just existence remaining pt15 hand 1v3 yeah main objective of here now is the, they know that the bomb is down over there lofts that smoke over the earth flashbang over there that's going to draw them in but uh he's going to get spotted now they know where he's at uh raining in from the p90 and now it's gonna be 14 to 3 now and just kind of overall looking how they're sitting here money-wise. you got 3,600 there for Kenny S. You're going to see another save round. Yeah. And you should see another save round uh, here for Vary Games. A full save, that is. Yeah. They have no reason to buy anything crazy because, well, they have so many rounds to finish it off. So better just get the money you want and then get the round you want and then just win it from there. You don't really have to care if you win 16-3 or 16-6. That doesn't really matter. A win is a win. Uh, they'll be uh, through no matter what. So let's see here. They will just run inside once more, going for that vent push, and that will not be successful. Actually, they will get in the vent, but not the bomb uh, into the vent. So yeah, 14 to 4, and first buy round coming up now, I guess. Yes, here we go. Full A case and an orb for Kenny S. So I'm just going to spec Kenny S because uh, yeah, you saw the first half. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a difference here between Kenny S and Fix on the outside here in just a moment. I mean, we're gonna probably see Kenny S. Uh, I typically I'd expect him to be up on the upper side, but he's probably gonna end up going over there towards uh, the ramp room to yeah. get a pick. I have seen that a lot. Um, the outside area being neglected uh, by the old player and going to the ramp instead uh, throughout today. So uh, yeah, that that's the new thing to do for us on the two side going to the ramp instead. Oh, Kenny, S, yeah, Kenny S is also one of those types of offers, though, that he, he uses it just like a single-shot assault rifle. <laughs> and it, it, it's, it's As you can see, how he's immediately he's going straight for any type of quick scope that he needs. And it's, it's just a pretty traditional style back in way back when. <laughs> way back when. <laughs> uh, from, the, like, the days of, like, fraud and... Uh, and K Sharp and any other American opera that I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> so Fox will open things off with a frag onto RPK. Now let's wanna follow Kenny S as he drops down, gets the angle of Fox. Beautiful shot coming in from Kenny S there. And uh, him and his teammates will be moving on into this lower bomb side. Look at those smokes. Oh wow, those smokes. Well, I'm, I'm gonna take a picture of this and send it to Valve. <laughs> But Insta, though, doesn't really care for those smokes. He just jumps straight in there, getting the double frag. And that's a good start for them. They have existence and Kenny S. Insta, can it do more damage? That's a question. Huh? Like, <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Love it. I love it. <laughs> that is... Yeah. That is absolute gold. <laughs> absolute gold. 
just right there was the perfect round to sit there and explain how effective those smoke grenades are. Very games went in, they put in two smokes right there, they got the bomb planted, it was difficult to spam through, and then after that, utilizing the same exact smoke because the duration is so long, they pushed straight into that uh, bomb site, and he popped his own smoke over the top of it, so as soon as it started to dissipate, he was able to pick up another frag, or get the uh, defuse there. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's just silly. Yeah, it those, shouldn't be easy. Yeah, for those of you like been, uh, been wondering about the theory about the smokes, is it too, is it too OP, should it be nerfed, or whatever you want to call it. Now, you kind of you kind of get what we mean now. <laughs> yeah, and if you don't, then... Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any rest. It's okay. It's not for them to get. It's 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 really a, this is this is a high level thinking in terms of like competitive play because and and in, in, in pub plays and stuff like that, it's effective, but it's not that effective. Whenever you're talking in terms of uh, trying to get, it's it's basically just taking complete advantage of a very, I wouldn't say overpowered. It's just because you can still spam through it, yeah. but at the same token, it, the bloom is just so massive. And look at though, look at this. We were at fourteen to one, and now kick. It's uh, sitting at uh, fourteen to six, a uh, eight round deficit here to Vary Games. Yeah, and uh, now we see what I talked about earlier. They do, ha they can buy. Uh, we see existence with uh, enough money to buy an orb and then change it over to Kenyas. They can buy. Oh, NBK only with twenty eight k. So, but yeah, they it could have bought. But they're, they're choosing to wait until well, they have all the money to get all the weapons, all the grenades. Two, two things that are going to happen here. One, they're either going to lose a round, or two, they're going to win a round. Either way, they're going to come up with 3,300 3, plus, or 3,000 3, plus. So, I mean, either way, they're going to be sitting pretty for the next round. doesn't yeah. make a difference whether they win or lose. Yeah, I know everyone was probably wondering, where is Corey going with this one? Of course they can win or lose. <laughs> <laughs> so, fix now. Picking up the first frag, oh not the first frag, the first bomb frag in the round, I can say. And oh, Kenny is actually going for the bomb plant, and this might, oh there's a guy in ramp, so. Oh, he should have had a smoke. Yeah, he should have had a smoke, then the round would surely have been one for Kenny S. <laughs> okay, that's a bit of a saturation. Aside. But yeah, uh, he didn't get the bomb planted, and yeah, now they're going to buy up. Kenny S, see, he's getting the ult, yeah. So no worries for Vega Games to have all the money they need in the world. And uh, surely they'll be hoping to um, to get that f magical 15th round now. Now, I have been talking with Valve about getting certain spectating assets being implemented to the game. And one of the things that I've, I'm, I understand that happened is right now, they're on the exact same type of streak that Very Games was on the first half. Yeah. Very Games won uh, the first six rounds of the match and not losing a single, or first, yeah, first six rounds of the, yeah. uh, the game. And uh, as you can see right now, that's exactly what's happening here in the second half. So it is a, kind of a mirror image thing that's going on here uh, between these two teams. And uh, you can't really look at it whenever you're a competitive player. You can't look at the score right now thinking 14 to 7. You have to think about it in terms of, okay, we won six consecutive rounds. They've won a zero. Yeah. And that is true. Here comes uh, New, though, with a headshot. And there's a little preemptive flashbang. So you can pick up that. This is second of the round. Taking down Kenny S here, so no, 3v2, it's actually winnable for kick, I think they can take it uh, uh, to get their 8th round here, um, it's very possible. Yeah, as you can see right now, you got Smith, who's working here, again, they do not have the bomb, the bomb is down over there, uh, right at the feet, I believe, of, yeah. it's actually over in the uh, lower bomb site area, yeah, and that back. is being watched there by New Fortis. Yeah, but actually Smith just swoops in there and picks it up. Existence did go for the guy who was actually guarding the bomb, basically. He knew he was there, he saw him early, and then just went straight in spraying with his AK and somehow got the frag. So now it's 2v2. Sick. Do they have them smokes? No, they don't. <laughs> what? What was going on there? He just stared at him. I don't even know, but they didn't have smokes, so... Uh, yeah, couldn't smoke the bomb side. The bomb went down, but wasn't really able to get out of it or hide in the smoke. So it's going to be um, 14 to 8 now. Very game still in the lead. Kick now finding themselves on 8 rounds, only behind with 6. And uh, Very Games buying yet another round of AKs. What, what's interesting about that round, economy wise, Very Games lost that round, but they got the bomb planted, so they had an additional 800. 
So they were sitting at, I believe they were sitting overall 30 or 4,200 is what they picked up from that round, even though they lost the round. Yeah, that's and like... So you see, it's, I love the, I just love how the economy worked, especially on the T side where the weapons are cheaper. But at the same token, Kick doing a great job winning seven rounds in a row here in the second half. Very similar to what Very Games did. Yeah, exactly. This is a round, this is a round that Very Games uh, gave up to Kick right here. So this could be the exchange we do see the existence. Getting in here with one, trading one for one here. And uh, he will be moving down towards that lower bomb side. It really seems to favor that lower bomb side. The very games player said Kenny S in a good position to pick up new there. Uh, a couple of frags coming out. I think RBQ will have a chance here. And now Kenny is also in the back of the fence. Very nice play from Team Very Games. Just fits remaining. Won't pick up one though. But he's 1v3 now. The bomb is going to be planted any second. I hope. <laughs> Oh, so that's going to sound stupid. Let's see, RPK is actually with the bomb. And he's planning it upstairs. It's a very nice little trickery going on. And um, I think Kenny will be able to catch him. Yeah. Win. Very Games winning that round now on match point. As they can um, c claim that number one spot, if my math is not failing me in this group. You're right. And uh, yeah, Kick now needing to win a lot of rounds in a row to come back. But this is, again, this is exactly what happened in the first half. You just, ha yep. as a competitor, you have to just wrap your mind around what happened there in the first round, in the first half. They picked up one round, and that was the round. It was literally the exact same instance uh, where very games, they won second, seven consecutive rounds in a row, then they lost one, and then they came back and they continued to win more rounds. Uh, so let's see what's going to happen here, whether or not Kit can make something happen. As uh, Their money, though, on the other hand, uh, has been dwindling and just taking consideration too, Kenny S is sitting at 29 and 14. Yeah. Just remember that. So right now Smith will hopefully get oh, no. nade, the first two. Boom. Nice nade. Trading a big back here will be um, the CTs and now. RPK making his way into the bomb site. Oh yeah, here he is. Into the lower bomb site. Might be able to catch this CT off guard. Oh, he gets a frag onto Muturus and just one player remaining. New. Four kick to save the glory of Portugal. <laughs> to make it just really all glittery and exciting. But yeah, that's all especially the fact that they're gonna still play second here in this group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually a pretty good result to be honest. Like that's nothing to be ashamed of in a group like that. No, and not after the fact you went three and zero, and the team that you lose to is the team that loses to NIP and always placing second. And that's going to do it. 16-8 to 8 is going to be the score there in favor of Very Games 